Jeff here at Shaggy's, and today we are in the ski factory. Everything's loud, so pardon my volume. Hopefully we can make this make this volume work. We have here a new pair of prototype skis. We're gonna go test them out tomorrow on snow, but first we wanted to give you an in-depth look of how we come up with a new model, why we don't just toss a new model out into the wild without testing it, knowing how different customizations are gonna work on this ski, and we're gonna see how it rides. We are Shaggy's Copper Country Skis. Skiing isn't just a sport to us, it's a way of life. Building skis turned our passion for skiing into a livelihood for our family. Follow along to get a glimpse into our small ski company. All right, so let me show you how we make these skis from a piece of paper into an actual product. Now, tomorrow we're gonna go and take them out on the snow. These haven't even been skied on yet. They could be terrible. They probably won't be. But they're gonna need some fine revisions. You get this cool top sheet that Kelsey came up with. It is reminiscent of your car camouflage. They're like the zebra print that they put on a um, concept car and they don't want anyone else to see while it's on the road. So it kind of hides its curves a little bit. You don't see it as much, but you can see, you can see the ski, it's about 98 underfoot. The plan with this is to do an 88, a 98, and a 108 in this model and roll that whole uh, that lineup. So without further ado. So in a nutshell, when I am working on designing a ski, first off we gotta take all these different notes from what we're trying to create from different people, from our athletes, from, from just our personal knowledge of what are we trying to do and think about how we are going to make this ski fit in our line and where does it fit in. We'll develop a shape and come up with some critical um, dimensions. Then we have to work on our side profile, which is going to determine your camber and rocker. Then we really get into the fun stuff where we can start working on core profiles, which is going to start determining your stiffness profile of your ski without composites. Um, then we're going to work on a, a composite layup schedule. We're going to figure out all the different composites that go into the ski that work with the epoxy and make a, um, a very strong and resilient product. We're going to tail bunkers. We're going to add tip spacers. Um, protecting the ski, protecting the core from water and impacts. Creating a ski that's not only durable but repairable because you don't want your ski, you know, when you go and smash into a rock, um, you know, a rock wall with your tip or a tree. You don't want that ski to be, you know, permanently damaged. If you go into plastic, it's no big deal. You can repair it. But if you, hit, if you were to hit wood, um, you really have to be careful when you're repairing it. And then you have water intrusion. So um, we're really, you know, cognizant on that because when you spend 800 bucks with us, we want you to have a product that you can continue to ski for a very long time. Once we get all these things put together, we generally have, you know, we're ready to go build a ski. And it doesn't matter how great it looks on the computer or in a you know, model, or even in the shop once it's done, it's all about how it skis. So we're gonna get out, we have to get out there on snow, we gotta see how it feels, and then we gotta start dialing it in. We gotta go through different revisions, we gotta take notes, see how did it turn, how could it initiate quicker or slower, or depending on what we're trying to go for with the ski. So it's all about getting that on snow testing at that point, so that's gonna wrap it up. The next morning. Okay, so we are out to test some new 2023 skis. We got Norm here, the original Shaggy's ambassador, Mr. Pro Skier. No, false. And we have some control skis that we're testing first. We got an Amic 95 Heavy, air quotes, Heavy. Tried two. Got, and the standard Amic 105, the 180 length. That's, yeah. Tried and That's true. That's tried and true. Gold standard Shaggy ski right there. So, we go. Take a run or two, get her feeling, get her bearings, and then uh, hop on some new skis. It's uh, nine degrees, snowing, a little bit of wind. I don't know, beautiful day. I'm stoked. I am writing down the conditions today, my control ski. What'd you have for breakfast? Me, I had a peanut butter banana smoothie. Okay, that's important. Low visibility, but that's because it's snowing, so that's good. Uh, nice room here on Meadows. Snow set up pretty well. I don't know, good for testing, good for skiing, good for ripping turns. A little bit of loose snow on the edges from last night. Let's 
Keith. predictable um nothing weird about them um just carved some you know some kind of high speed turns now got to get the feeling of how quick they're gonna maneuver and whip around um don't have a full twin on these but so i want to be able to stand on a little bit more but still i don't know keep it kind of clickable and easy to whip around so we're gonna put them through the paces on the next shot first run on this prototype with this cool graphic complain let the footage do the talking <laughs> i don't know it was a good run it feels feels like ski feels like you're onto something i would say this they're not a dud after one run first impressions pretty good not a dud how is the maneuver maneuverability versus the 105 uh i would say naturally it can be a little bit more maneuverable because it's a little narrower yep but I felt that it did want to go down the hill a little bit more as opposed to maybe sliding in the looser snow. Yep. Probably due to the shape of the tail, which it makes sense. Yep. So it's doing what it's supposed to do per the design. Oh, run number two, let's get it. New film series between the between the skiers with John Mon. Initial thoughts on just railing turns. It feels like the initial part of the turn is slow, and then the more edge angle you get, the quicker the ski turns. And I don't know if that's a function of the shape of the ski, snow conditions, or the uh, core profile. Not sure. Jeff might be able to. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of the shape, but a lot of the core profile, a lot of that thickness. The stiffness profile of the ski where when you get enough you know you're getting rolling it up to a point where you get enough force engaging on it and then you're getting that whole side cut from your in front of your like halfway up your tip to down you know and it's really grabbing the radius and it's coming around but until that point because it's kind of tapered in a little bit at the tip until you get to that point you're not getting as much pushback from it I don't know, just kind of my initial thought. We'll have to, I'll have to make a run on, try to do the same thing, get a feel for that. He's in action. Yeah, let's go for the record the, books. Go to the metal, meadows lift and then go up. And we can do some photos.
Alrighty, so great day out on these skis. Nice morning. Got some uh, fresh snow, some groomers, a little bit of everything in between. Definitely have a uh, couple of updates to make, but really solid first day on these. So get a couple more days on them, then make some revisions and get out on the next pair. Gotta get back to work. <laughs>